We're here in the aftermath of Loma Chingo and Coleman. We're here with my man. Look at that. Why? Why? I love good? it, bro. I love it. Commentating, precise. I love it. Thank you. That was your first time commentating. Ah, right? that's actually like my fourth time now. Fourth though, time. But like, I think my, my second time doing it for top rank. Okay, Champ, how you doing overall? How's the family, first of all? Oh, the family's good. I got more units than my brothers behind me right now. But, um, you know, the family back at home is doing good. Life is good, man. I can't complain, bro. Yeah, I know it's early to say when it's next, but let's just start. Let's nah, just recap a little bit. when it's next? Coming back in the early 2022. All right, look. I got Coach Red over here with me. Coming back, He's coming back. <laughs> I'm just, nah, but real talk, come on. Um, we're probably gonna start training with them after the after the New Year. All right, now so. I'm here to say, we safe and sound, <laughs> and we going another round. Hey, I don't know what this song. Coast Red. I'm a little inebriated a little bit. I'm having a little bit of fun. Yeah. But Jamel Harry is gonna make a comeback in 2022. Another comeback story. <laughs> you know, you a comeback kid. And it's gonna be better than the first. You know what I love about Jamel? He never yeah. changed. He never changed. That's Drops, what I love about Jamel. I'm dropping a mic after that. That was like a drop mic type yeah, of thing. And I'm done talking yeah, about I'm it. I'm done talking about <laughs> it. <laughs> Quickly, Jamel, what you think about that fight, man? Loma you, I mean, the and, whole, uh, listen, the whole card was good, man. The whole card was good. Uh, let's start with just Keyshawn Davis. Great performance, man. That's supposed to be a step up fight for him. He, you know what I'm saying? He did what he had to do. Um, like I said, um, Nico Wells, he had a, he had a, actually asked for adversary for a change. And, you know, I know he got a lot of pressure on his back, but, you know, hopefully he's taking it as a growing experience. Jared Anderson, man, looked sharp, man. Man, it was crucial in there. And then, like I said, but in my opinion, uh, Vasily Lomachenko basically proved why he still won the top dogs in the division, even without, even without a belt. The dude is still, you know what I'm saying, something not, you know, something to be taken very serious in there. But, I enjoyed the whole card. I enjoyed calling the card, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I enjoyed definitely witnessing it on front. We've seen like this last three weeks, it's like this lightweight takeover. We've seen uh, Cambosis winning, Tank, right. Haney got the victory, now Lomachenko. Like yeah. out of them three, between Haney, Davis, and Lomachenko, who deserves that Cambosis? That big money fight going to Australia. Mucho dinero, as we say in Spanish. I mean, that's, 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 that's a good one, man. Like I said, I would like, I would like to see Cambosis fight any, any, any one of those guys, you know what I mean? Honestly. Uh, especially like if they're all champions and they're all right. Even I'd like to see Lomachenko check about him next as well. I mean, he's built, this, he's climbed his way back up to the position that, you know, to earn the, the rightfully fight for another world title. Well, he wants all the belts. So, but I, you know, Campos, is, he's the man right now in the division. But, you know, it's, it's anyone's, you know, it's, it's anyone's game, man. It's any, like, it, like, it's crazy how, how these titles just change hands at times. So, you know, it's, it's a pick em for me. Thank you, champ. Like I said, hope you rest up. I'll see you soon, champ. And I guess I'm always rooting for you, champ. Thank you, bro.